Yeah. My name is Pastor Sue Monene, and I'm so happy to be here to discuss about family issues. And uh, I believe that we are going to learn together that which we have today. Language of love mm -hmm. is what will rule and dominate in a family. Right. Another thing about the word of God is it gives you a culture. Mm -hmm. In other words, there are things that um, you will find yourself just doing. Mm -hmm. A culture of prayer, mm -hmm. a culture of love, mm -hmm. a culture of touching each mm -hmm. other, mm -hmm. even kissing each other, mm -hmm. hugging each other. Mm -hmm. You know, small, small things, as Pastor Jane is saying, right. that will make you more bond, mm -hmm. not something that will make you keep apart. Mm -hmm. So the culture, the Bible culture, mm -hmm. what the Bible recommends, mm -hmm. you know, that is possible at this particular time now that we are in the house. Mm -hmm. And there's nowhere else we can we can mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. And I think this is so spiritual and also it is practical mm -hmm. because it, it takes two to tango yeah. and it also takes two to actually mix things mm -hmm. to make things work better. Okay. So um I'm, I'm really uh blessed uh for this time. It's my time to actually bond with my husband, mm -hmm. bond with my children, mm -hmm. you know, even get to know about my workers mm -hmm. who work in my house, mm -hmm. what, what could be their challenge, what could be their prayer item. Mm -hmm. It's a time also to pray, time also to fast together. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things we can do, both spiritual and physical, to mm -hmm. play together. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you'd want to watch even together, the right. two of you? Mm -hmm. Things that will edify the family and make the family bond become stronger okay. and stronger. Mm -hmm. Now, um, mm -hmm. I think that's that's good for mm -hmm. adults. But mm -hmm. now the thing is, we mm -hmm. have children in our homes. Yeah. They are the recipient of all the junk that we carry around as grown-ups. Mm -hmm. So we as grown-ups, we are able to, you know, go before God, get repentance mm -hmm. or get freedom or whatever. I mean, we have a way of being able to get through it. But we have kids that we have programmed very negatively because of the toxic, like you say, situation mm -hmm. in the home. Mm -hmm. How do we get them out of this? Because sometimes we can really focus on the on the couple. Mm -hmm. But remember, every time you have parents, whether a single parent or it's a, a couple, we are mentoring a generation. Mm -hmm. So if we are having such messes in terms of marriages, whether there's a marriage or is a single parent, mm -hmm. what generation are we raising? So how are we going to, in this same when we are Together. Do children have a say? Can they be allowed to say the things they want to see mommy and daddy do or behave in a specific way or, you know, can we reach out to our kids and get to hear their part of what they think? Because sometimes we, we know everything and then we we, we just we feed them with information, you know, we have to do this, we are doing this, now mommy and daddy are doing this. Can we listen to them? Pastor Jen? Yeah, thank you, Doctor uh, Joyce. Um, yes, we can. Mm. Um, I know it could be hard, and especially if you've not had a relationship with your children. Yeah, yeah, because one of the things that children do when they realize they are not, um, that they they are not, um, you've not made them part of your life, mm -hmm. they withdraw, yeah. they retreat, mm -hmm. uh, they get into their own personal cocoons. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, but I also think uh, children um, are very easy to deal with mm -hmm. because when a child um, sees a parent, uh, for instance, you've not had time with your child or you, you don't even have a relationship mm -hmm. and now you have been forced to see them, mm -hmm. you know, they don't want even to see you. They see you and they run out of the room, you get into the right. room and, uh, you know, they, they, go, in their they go in their bedrooms mm -hmm. and all this. I think somebody, as we are saying, if somebody, if somebody can just be intentional mm -hmm. and just take that time, mm -hmm. you may not even need to talk to them together. Mm -hmm. Take mm -hmm. one by one. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, just talk to them. Tell them maybe, uh, because of course, as a parent, you do not uh, lack some wisdom mm -hmm. to talk to them. You can even tell them it has been this way because you've been busy. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are so sorry that it has happened. Mm -hmm. But you desire that there would be created some relationship. Mm -hmm. You desire to be, to be friendly. Them. Mm. And and uh, uh, this can only be a reality uh, to them if even even when they are through this, 
you will still be able to relate with them. Mm -hmm. Because if it happens now that you're in the house and then it ends once you get out of the house, it will just be fiction. Yeah. It will never be a reality. Yeah. And and to, to the children, you are a liar. Mm. Uh, so I think it is good that to bring them uh, in, into into our relationships and into our French, into our um, communications. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who, of us who have had relationships with our children, we know how easy it can be. Mm. Uh, and as Pastor Sue was saying, and George, Doctor, you had asked about mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. about bringing back to life the home, uh, the family altars. Mm -hmm. you, you can just engage them mm -hmm. uh, because uh, maybe you missed it out, you did not uh, train or you did not start your children off mm -hmm. the way in which they should go. And now you find it a bit crampsy to try to bring them and speak to them uh, and um, uh, because uh, you realize when you have not been, it is easy to tell them to become. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think you can take this opportunity as a parent, let them understand and just be humble enough mm -hmm. to, to uh, Pastor Sue, you said to, to, mm -hmm. to, to swallow mm -hmm. our pride mm -hmm. and let the children know maybe it is because we have been so busy we've been mm -hmm. told, but we thank God that he has given us this opportunity mm -hmm. and I don't know why we don't have uh, to befriend our children whereas we are expected to be their first teachers their advisors mm -hmm. you know their, their, their confidants if we do not relate with our children mm -hmm. then, then we have lost it yeah, mm -hmm. so have, for yeah. us to, 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 to bring them back and even to uh, to have what we expect because every parent uh, when they are giving birth to children of course they have a, a vision they have yeah. a dream mm -hmm. for their children mm -hmm. oh, yes. but that dream will only come to pass if we can engage them mm -hmm. because we have bulldozed our children so mm -hmm. much you don't make, let them even make choices of their own yes. you don't care where they are they are potential is mm -hmm. we keep bulldozing them mm -hmm, yes. uh, sometimes uh, there are those children who have not even seen that salvation mm -hmm. in the lives of their parents though right. they profess yes. mm -hmm. you know you need to to be able to to also change mm -hmm. and let the children see what you say mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there are children who will never even believe there is salvation mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you say you are saved but they don't see that salvation right mm -hmm. you say you, uh, you 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 talk of love but you don't love each other mm -hmm. yes so this is very detrimental to the children mm -hmm. and so i i think uh, as we engage god and just start as simple uh, or as simply as just having a short uh, you know family prayer right. mm -hmm. you know reading of the word of god wow. as simple as you may you mm -hmm. may read it you may not even have the interpretation mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, but of course it's always good to engage them they have yes. a lot mm -hmm. tell them mm -hmm. to tell you what they are getting out mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. and that god can also take advantage mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. and the goodness with god is once you engage him mm -hmm. with that little thing mm -hmm. he can magnify right. it wow. he can make a lot of impact out of it. Mm. And so our viewers, I, I would even say that if God, um, not if God, but because that is God's desire, mm. if we can just take the, uh, the step mm. of starting it off, mm -hmm. I know it can work. Okay. Wow. Now, I, I just want to talk about um, like the single parents. Mm. And, and after that, we also going to talk about uh, it's good for us to assume that in one house, in a lockdown, you only have parents and children. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, some are locked down and cousins are there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brother-in-laws and sisters-in-laws are mm -hmm. there. So it's a whole mm -hmm. clan mm -hmm. locked up. So there's a lot of tension, a lot mm -hmm. of frustration yes. because, I mean, you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about the single parents. I mean, you're mm -hmm. locked up with your children. Uh, you know, you possibly have lost a business or lost a job. You don't know what to do next. And you find yourself in this specific time with your kids. And here we are telling you, you need to start communicating. I mean, their mind is not even in that. Mm -hmm. Their mind is that, how am I going to finish paying school fees for these children? Mm -hmm. So they, so to them, even communication is not a big deal. You know, uh, single parents, most of the time, don't want to perform, 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 because they are single. That They, mm -hmm. they want to make sure that their kids end up well. Mm -hmm. So how do we bring them back to a place of just relax? Like God is in control of this and it's going to be well. Can you just talk to the single parents? Please? Wow. Yeah. A very good question, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Joyce. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to the single mothers and tell them one of the things that will help you move on in this life without having a lot of stress on yourself mm -hmm. and pressure is number one. You've got to accept your status. Okay. I think that's one of the things that we have 
we have for a long time, mm -hmm. especially women, yeah. we really don't want to accept the status that mm -hmm. we are in. Mm -hmm. And you see, when you live in denial, yeah. there are things you will never prompt to do. Mm -hmm. You get that. Yeah. We, I need to accept that if I'm a single mother, mm -hmm. then I've got to be there for my children. Mm -hmm. Play probably the role. I may not really play play the role per se, mm -hmm. but I must be there for my children as a father, mm -hmm. or look for someone who can be a father figure, right. and I must be there to direct them. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is actually to accept. Mm -hmm. Another thing, don't deny your situation. Mm -hmm. You know, I find sometimes when single mothers are told, if you're single, lift up your hand, stand up, and they shy off. Yeah. I want to let you know, God knows that you are, and when you accept that, mm -hmm. God is able to assist you in his own way. Mm -hmm. And most of the times we wonder, how will God assist you? Mm -hmm. God will assist you through people. Mm -hmm. So there are times that um, when we keep in denial, we become bitter, we entangle ourselves with the negative thoughts, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, we see there is no hope. Mm -hmm. So come out clearly and be proud for who yes. you are. Mm -hmm. We have seen also single mothers mm -hmm. who came out and they were self-confident, mm -hmm. God remembering them Amen. and giving them wonderful husbands mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and even husbands, why? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, giving them wives, mm -hmm. because we also have single mm -hmm. uh, fathers. Mm -hmm. So I want to say that number one, we have to accept Number two, do not make, you know, permanent decision mm -hmm. on a temporal situation. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, there are times, you know, we see like, ah, mm -hmm. you know, it's like these children will never, you know, become what I wanted to be. Them and you, be. you just see there is no hope. Mm -hmm. No. I want to let you know what Pastor Jane has said, mm. that every child who comes, mm. God has a package for them. Mm -hmm. And God knows that you have children. Mm. God is, is aware about your children. And so we need to be aware that God is also concerned about these children. Mm. God is only not concerned about, you know, families where the father and the mother is present. Mm. He's also concerned with the singles. Mm. He's also concerned with the children of the window mm. or the windower. Mm. And so that accepting and, and, and moving on life, being mm. real mm. without having to actually defend yourself so much mm. helps you to actually see opportunities. Awesome. So that open mind is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Number two, sit down with your children. Mm -hmm. If there's some expectation that your children are saying, you know, I was with my friend mm -hmm. and he, he or she was telling mm -hmm. me my dad will do this, mm -hmm. my mom will do this, sit right. down and tell them our family is unique. Mm -hmm. Unique, not bad, mm -hmm. but unique, unique. in yeah. the sense that mm -hmm. we do not have a father, mm -hmm. but God is our father. Amen. He may not be present to see him, mm -hmm. but you see all the things that we have, mm -hmm. it is God who has provided mm -hmm. us through me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So you must also bring godly, you know, uh, consciousness mm -hmm. to your child. Mm -hmm. uh, let the child grow knowing, though I do not have a physical father, mm -hmm. I have an heavenly father. Mm -hmm. And so whatever I need, mm -hmm. though I may not get it now, yes. God can still provide them. Mm -hmm. So that's something very, very important. Mm -hmm. Another thing also, walk the journey with your children, mm -hmm. you know, explain to them bit by bit. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find single parents, mm -hmm who take responsibility to work with their daughters and their sons, right. we end up getting very wonderful wives oh, yes. and very wonderful yeah. husbands. Mm. The mistake we do is to leave them, mm. to bring to bring them, you know, for what what our delay is mm. like they are bringing them themselves, themselves up. up. Mm. That's the mistake we do. Mm. Just because you are single does not mean that now you leave your children to bring themselves up. Mm. They need you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Your presence is very, very, very important. Mm. And when it comes to, to your earnings, mm. tell them, mm. for now, we may not be able to do one, two, mm. three things. Yes. We will only do what is very important. Awesome. Yeah. And, and as Pastor Jane has said, mm -hmm. children are very easy to handle. Mm. Because if you tell them something, then you walk that journey. Mm. They have no problem. Mm. Yes. The challenge comes when you say something and you do opposite. Mm -hmm. Because now you confuse their mentality. Yes. Mm. So the issue is be real mm. and handle issues as they come. Mm. And don't be a liar. Mm. Don't paint something that you don't have. Yes. Let them know when mommy has money, mm -hmm. when daddy has money, mm -hmm. surely we will enjoy life. Sure and when so. money is little, mm. this is the way we, sure. we live. Mm -hmm. So that kind of adjusting mm -hmm. the way the situation is. Mm. Because to say today you don't have money mm. does not mean that next year you will not have money. Very true. true. To struggle today to pay your school fees mm. does not mean that God, mm. these children cannot go to the highest level. Mm. We have seen God yes. moving in the lives of people mm. and making them even great and mighty. Mm. So trust the Lord. Mm. As the Bible says in the book of Matthew 6, mm. it says that the, the, the worries and the troubles of today mm. are enough yes. for today. So mm. don't think about five years, where will my children be, mm -hmm. what will happen, because when we do that, mm -hmm then we, we kind of 
create anxiety. Yes. We kind of create, you know, uh, uncertainty in mm -hmm. our future. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the day, we are not able to see the opportunity that God has opened for us. Awesome. So be strong for your children. Be mm -hmm. strong for yourself. Sure. You are there as an as an as a pillar of hope mm -hmm. to your sons and your daughters. Wow. Oh yes. We are almost coming to the end of the show, and I believe you've been blessed. But Pastor Jen, please tell us now. We do have these blended families. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people in the homes, mm -hmm. and some of them are genuinely people who need our help. So mm -hmm. we just can't kick them out mm -hmm. because I mean they need our help. Yes. So now we really want the families to come together and to bond together, but mm -hmm. they are so invaded. What do we do? Wow. Thank you, Doctor. That's a hard question, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's also a good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I happen to be uh, one of those who have always had, you know, invasion. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. people, people in the home, mm -hmm. and uh, um, okay, sometimes it's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think, uh, despite um, that, we are we, we have we are in the lockdowns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is always the the aspect of um, of a parent. Mm -hmm taking time with their children mm. and everybody understands that yeah mm. you can take your children you can even take go to the, their room mm. or you go to your you go to, to they can go even to your room mm. you can talk mm. and this is all based on we, we are we are talking we have talked much about communication oh, right. yes. because if there is communication mm -hmm. uh children have no barriers mm. if there is communication mm. wow. they, they have no problem mm -hmm. the mother will go to, to their room mm -hmm. the father will go to their room they can always talk mm -hmm. and especially if you go to, and talk to them together mm -hmm. i think and they, because they need to feel mm -hmm. um my, my son tells me feeling my home you know mm -hmm. feeling wow you know, feeling yeah that emotional you know, yes he's, he's he's very particular mm -hmm. he wants to feel mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. wow now how how does he feel home mm -hmm. he feels home if he has his own space wow wow so i think also these people are uh, who have invaded us mm -hmm. and we found out that uh, if god gives us the opportunity to be able to be supportive to them mm -hmm. uh, praise the name of jesus yeah but also there is they should also be able to give space mm -hmm. to the family mm -hmm. of this house mm -hmm. not exactly because you're not kicking them out mm -hmm. but i think like if you realize like in, mm -hmm. for instance mm -hmm. if i was seated here with pastor sue and pastor monene mm -hmm. and i realized they have a an in, a, a, a closer uh talk mm -hmm. than the one we've had mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I, I think I'm, I'm i would be reasonable enough to just Excuse yourself. Yes, you excuse yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think people mm -hmm. can also learn that mm -hmm. to give, but unfortunately, uh, and especially with us mm -hmm. and our people, mm -hmm. we don't have that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether it is courtesy, mm -hmm. we don't have or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think parents can still have time mm -hmm. with their children mm -hmm. if yes. they want to. Mm -hmm. Because even like when others go to sleep, you still can have some mm -hmm. you know, time mm -hmm. with them and bond together, speak into to their hearts, let them know what they are going through. Because there is nothing as good as when a child knows that you can feel them. Mm. Yes, I understand your frustration. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you know you realize they are, they even have their bedrooms mm -hmm. embedded. Mm -hmm. They they don't have anything that they can call their own. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so and because these things happen, and I always say that life happens. Mm -hmm. There are things that come and mm -hmm. we, we cannot we cannot avoid them. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is always good create time for your children. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Let them know that you are there for them. Wow. Let them know that uh, they still have uh, the, their position. Mm -hmm. In you, uh, their position in uh, in you has not been invaded. Mm -hmm. It is still there. Yes. You know, talk to them and never let them feel like they have been sidelined. Mm -hmm. yes. Like uh, because we have also a problem whereby some parents may give so much attention to strangers, mm -hmm. yes. and that can affect the children so much negatively. Right. Uh, we we some of us have gone through that, and we've had children. You know, they, they because one of the things I say, mm -hmm. and especially to the men and the women of God. Mm -hmm. they should never let their children meet God True. by that kind of invasion mm -hmm. whereby they don't have their parents mm -hmm. they have been robbed of their parents mm -hmm. and even their parents they have or their parents have also like behaved like these are more important than mm -hmm. the children mm -hmm. they feel so much mm -hmm. wow they feel so much mm -hmm. and so I think we doctor we still can have time with our children awesome. still give them what they need mm -hmm. uh, uh, talk to them you know share with them take your time with one one or one by one mm -hmm. and and just speak your, your, your love to them mm -hmm. and your interest in them and uh they will feel good by the okay. way they wow. even they, when they, they they walk 
in that house they would still be feeling mm -hmm. though you are all here mm -hmm. i still have I my, my yes belong, I, yeah. yeah my wow. dad's uh, my, my in my father mm -hmm. i still have my position wonderful i also mm -hmm. want to add something on that mm -hmm. i think also we parents we have also to be very careful when we are bringing up our children yeah. because you find the more you have many children mm -hmm. the different they are mm -hmm. yeah. and so you find there is that notion of parents wanting to favor one child mm -hmm. like children who are named after my side mm -hmm. you find they are more loved mm -hmm. by me mm -hmm. and those that are named over my husband's side mm -hmm. i kind yes, of they. like have a, a I'm an cool. attitude. Mm. I have an attitude, I have a negative attitude towards them. Mm. And you see, children are able to, to feel mm. emotionally yeah. whether they are rejected mm. and whether they are accepted. Mm. I think that's something that comes from the parents mm. because whether I got married with a, with a daughter mm. or I got married with a son, mm. as we are talking about blended family, mm. you knew about it. Mm. So it is a matter of us working on our attitude mm. to actually accept those children the way they are mm. and knowing that if they are mistakes, probably. That's why I came for that. Mm -hmm. For me, that's what I would look at. Mm -hmm. But not to take time to actually side with some children, mm -hmm. hurt them, hurt their feelings. They know that mommy doesn't love me, daddy doesn't love me. Mm -hmm. You know, some even, you know, they have preference mm -hmm. of who they love, one yes. parent. Mm -hmm. I think, and also that in, being intentional to love them genuinely mm -hmm. is what melts away, melts away that hatred, that tension. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, we make them as one. Mm -hmm. I also want to put it this way, mm -hmm. that also speaking Mm. to them. Mm. Yes. Like there is this statement that I love that Pastor Monene keeps talking to our children. Mm. I want you to grow mm. loving each other. Yes. Wow. That word is very key. Mm. Because even when they are 90 years, mm. they'll keep telling each other. You mm. remember one thing that he used to tell us? Mm. Yes. We must grow loving mm. each other. Mm. Even if we don't have any other statement to tell your children, mm. let them know. Let them remember you as the mother. Mm. Let them remember you as the father. Yes. That you told them they have to grow together mm. loving each other, awesome. supporting each other. Mm. And by so doing, we are able to get help the children. Yes. I want to also want to suggest something small. It is important for us also to get movies mm. you know, yeah. that we can watch with our children mm -hmm. and at the end of the day learn something mm. from it mm. and you can ask them, what have you learned? Mm. Then let make it a discussion. Yes. Uh, some of them may want football. Mm. This time now to do those things that we have never done that together too. with our children. Mm. You know, this is a time also to call you know, the, the inner beauty we were talking about, mm -hmm. there are virtues that are in your daughter. She's yes. so organized, mm -hmm. she's so neat, mm -hmm. she's a good cook. Mm -hmm. You know, she learns. Those are the things now to call them right. and tell her, my daughter, my son, mm -hmm. I'm very happy with that. Mm -hmm. By so doing, we make them feel, mm -hmm. as Pastor uh, Jane was saying, mm -hmm. they feel they are part of us mm -hmm. as, as we are as well, giving them space mm -hmm. for them to drive and become what they want them to become. Yeah. So it's more of uh, being practical mm -hmm. to yes. children yeah. than you know just saying it mm. and that's why we say man can see man can do mm. you see that yeah. so what what they see you doing yeah. is probably what they will actually do, do. do. Yes. not so much what you say yes. but what you do mm. so that that being being intentional mm. the one is being intentional mm. to be actually a role model to your son and your daughter yes. is the key thing mm. in, in in parenting sure. you know and also when you are also correcting them mm. reprimanding them mm. do it in love mm. yes. you know mm. you don't call a child when mm. when you know those words that we say that are really and the <laughs> child will keep remembering mm. my dad called me mkora mm. those words must get out of mm. us mm. we must remove this mentality that the harder you are mm. the more the, the better your children will become i think it's a myth exactly. that needs to get out of your way right if you are disciplining your children mm. let them understand mm -hmm. why are you doing that mm. and what were they supposed to do mm -hmm. you know but not beating the child and, you know, just aimlessly and mm. calling them names. And at the end of the day, we think they are going to change. In mm. fact, we even handed them. Mm. And those words you are telling them, one day, mm. they will also answer them back to you. Oh, because wow. you sold them. Yeah. Oh, yes. That is powerful. And I want to get into a time where the two women of God are going to, you know, just pray for the families. Mm. But just before we go, mm. there is this other part of, I don't want to call them part of the family, but maybe maybe I could be wrong. But mm -hmm. we, we have second wives, mm -hmm. third wives, slay queens mm -hmm. that are always around the family, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And so right now with the lockdown, they may not be getting the whole share of this man mm -hmm. or this woman or wh whatever the tangling is there. Mm -hmm. And so they also have expectations. 
they also you know because they're involved some are emotionally mm. and uh, so where do they stand what do we do with them because do you think god is saying that it's time for families to get every junk out is it that god has pushed them out with this i mean just speak to us prophetically what do you see about a woman out there or a man out there there are there are whatever wife number mm. five mm. i don't know uh, I believe Dr. Joyce, uh, jo um, God is speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, God in his speaking, um, he acts. Okay. And uh, one, uh, it's also, also good to know whether this person has been introduced into this family. Wow. Mm -hmm. Because if it is an illicit relationship, mm -hmm. uh, then of course yeah. God is telling you, mm -hmm. you must keep off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, if this uh, lockdown was forever mm -hmm. then it simply means yeah. mm -hmm. you and your children mm -hmm. you would never see him again right mm -hmm. and if he would never work again uh, then it simply means you'd never get anything from him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so it simply means you are out of this marriage right you're mm -hmm. not part of it mm -hmm. and there is nothing that will ever justify what is wrong mm -hmm. now okay for those who have accepted um, uh, the, the two the second and the third marriages mm -hmm. Uh, the, the, wives, the, uh, the wives, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, whatever little the mm. man has, mm -hmm. you'll have to share with them. Mm. If, if if it is in agreement, mm. and, and of course that will be upon him, mm -hmm. not upon what the woman works for, mm -hmm. or what the woman uh, brings in. Mm -hmm. But I think we need to also to put our morals right. Good. Mm -hmm. We yeah. need to put our morals right, mm -hmm. our morals are rotten, mm -hmm. and you cannot break somebody's marriage mm -hmm. uh, because you want bread on the table. Mm -hmm. You cannot break somebody's marriage because whether you like it or not, you will never, he, 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 we will never have the same shares. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Because think of, of a woman uh, who's, um, uh, who, who only sees this man to visit him, mm -hmm. uh, to visit, visiting her mm -hmm. for two hours in the day. Mm -hmm. And then he goes back home. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you? Mm -hmm. he, he has his own family. Right. He knows where he belongs. Mm -hmm. yes. And so it is good, you know, the, the Bible says that everyone, uh, it's in Isaiah, that everyone shall have their own mate. Mm -hmm. There yes. is nobody who is not destined Destined to have a partner, mm. there is nobody. Mm -hmm. Whether they talk of ratios, mm. that mm. has nothing to do with God's plan. Mm. Everybody mm. whom God or who seek God, who seeks God in this, Amen. God is able to give them. Right. Wonderful. So uh, I think, um, uh, Doctor, I think they should not be counted as part of these families mm -hmm. mm. because they will never be. Mm -hmm. And everything that they are doing is mm -hmm. just de destroying somebody's mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. And it is very interesting. Mm -hmm. You destroy my marriage, and you will never come into this marriage. Mm -hmm. So what? Are, what is? What is the benefit? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You lose your integrity. Mm -hmm. You lose your dignity. Mm -hmm. And I will continue flourishing mm -hmm. because I love God. Mm -hmm. I didn't break somebody's marriage. Mm -hmm. I am still moving on, mm -hmm. and I have peace with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have peace with myself. Mm. And at the end of the day, as we said, it is God with me. Mm. So I should also be living a life that I will not be ashamed of when giving an account to God. Mm. So I, I think uh, they should also be able to define their lives, mm -hmm. who they are, yeah. and where they want to be, mm -hmm. and how they want to live their lives. Mm. And without torturing, you know, these little children, mm. they keep mm -hmm. giving birth to mm. wow. unnecessarily mm -hmm. without a father. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I think that's what I would say. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important because mm -hmm. we do have a lot of um especially women because i mean the bible says in you know in the last days you're gonna have seven of them just wanting the name they mm -hmm. don't care about they're gonna provide for wow. themselves mm -hmm. but if they can just have your name, the name and so there is you know the name gives you an entitlement mm -hmm. and so there is that kind of an entitlement whereby you feel you know what i don't care even if he stays in your house in your mm -hmm. house for mm -hmm. six hours and he's only mine 20 minutes yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. i'm still somebody mm -hmm. so what pastor is saying ladies value mm. yourself once again mm -hmm. this is a message god saying to you mm. you can do better than that yeah. mm. you can do better than and i know oh, most yes. of them are, most of you mm. you could be hurting yes. because this man met you he never said he was married mm. he introduced to himself to you as a single man mm. maybe separated or divorced or whatever he mm. lied because i mean mm. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, there will be lies. Mm. And so maybe you got pregnant in the first six months mm -hmm. only to realize that this man was a married man. So mm. so it, it, 
we do understand that you could be coming from a position of genuineness. You mm. really had no idea. Mm. And now you have a child or you have now a past that you have to deal mm. with that you have been dating a married man. Mm. But God is giving you a chance right now mm. to totally separate. Amen. Totally move away. Amen. If, if there are kids involved, mm. you can always work around that yeah. without jeopardizing the marriage of these men. Mm. And also be prideful of your singlehood. Mm. Let God give you somebody who belongs to you. Sure. And life is going to be well, not only here, but even mm. in heaven. Remember, mm. there is a heaven wow. we are going to. Mm. Sure. Yeah, so uh, Pastor Sue, I'm just going to ask you to maybe to begin in prayer. I yes. might think you might have something to add on that, the mm. way you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I just uh, got triggered by what Pastor Jane said yeah. in the book of Isaiah 34, 16. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, upon Mount Zion, mm -hmm. no one will miss their mate. Mm -hmm. I wish people can, and especially women, yeah. we can stop being desperate, mm -hmm. you know, to seriously get married mm -hmm. in a man. Mm -hmm. Because um, when you get in marriage, it's when you know there are things that are not really mm -hmm. practical mm -hmm. because there's a lot of, um, would I say Hollywood? Mm -hmm. You know, Hollywood, <laughs> you know, where people want to behave like they are angels yeah. and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Angel. Mm -hmm. But when you get in is when you know, ah, marriage is not real. Like that, yeah. There's no, you can't really fake in marriage mm -hmm. because you are dealing with real things and mm -hmm. real, mm -hmm. real, real occurrences. Yeah. So mine is to tell the ladies to stop being desperate mm -hmm. so much to men and uh, wanting to get a child. You know, there are times when girls reach, reach an age mm -hmm. and their parents begin to tell them, Mm, yeah. you know, and not knowing we are encouraging you know sexual immorality mm. we are exposing these girls to even sexually transmitted diseases mm. and at the end of the day we regret because this child comes and does not become a blessing because mm. he was out of order mm. just like uh, you know Ismail mm. was born out mm. of the order of mm. God mm. and uh, Sarah thought he was assisting God to get a son <laughs> yeah. only to realize this was the son that is going to bring pain to the races yes. and generations of the world. Mm. So some of these things, girls, we need to, women, we need to stop actually getting so desperate mm -hmm. that we can even think of performing a miracle mm -hmm. by getting somebody's husband and mm -hmm. thinking probably you will be able to enjoy him. Mm -hmm. You might find the man has actually changed mm -hmm. and you might wonder whether this is the same man you are dying for. Mm -hmm. So it is not what you see mm -hmm. that is actually real. Mm -hmm. For me, I would tell them to wait upon the Lord. Mm -hmm. And waiting upon the Lord should not be uh, 10 years, 5 years because the Bible says a thousand days mm. is like one, one day, day and one day is mm. like so God is, God wants to do things in his own time mm. and the Bible says in God's time he makes things beautiful mm. so what Pastor Jane was saying I wouldn't advocate mm. you know so much mm -hmm. about the side chicks mm -hmm. because at the end of the day you are actually being wasted for time sure. and probably God you would have met your husband by mm -hmm. then and connected and you live your mm -hmm. full life mm -hmm. I think let's, let's avoid taking shortcuts mm. because every shortcut you take in life mm. it casts short mm. your blessing mm. that's very 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 well, important very powerful yeah. every mm. shortcut you take mm. in your life mm -hmm. it is going to cast short your destiny wow. Amen. Um, thank you so much for joining us we're yes. going to have a time of prayer mm. you know one minute one minute just pray you know for the families I would ask you to pray for you know the family unit in terms of the parents mm. and the children and I specifically want to ask you to mm. pray you know for the single parents mm. because they really do need God also wow. mm. yeah we can begin with you Pastor Jen Okay, let us pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you in the name of Jesus. Mm. We give you for the yes. we give you all the glory and all the honor. Mm. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity, Jehovah God, mm. of sharing your word with your people. Mm. And tonight we want to thank you and to bless you. Mm. That mm. Heavenly Father, you are working all things together for mm. good to them that love you and are called according to your purpose. Yes. Yes. Tonight, Father, even as we, uh, uh, we we think of where we are, Jehovah God, mm. yes, in the Corona lockdown, mm. we want to thank you and even to bless you, yes, that Lord. you are still working things out mm. for the glory and the honor of your name. Alleluia. We want to thank you for our families, oh God. Mm. We thank you for those families that have had non-resident fathers, mm. Jehovah God, mm. and the mother and the children have lived like they never had him. Mm. And right now, Jehovah Father, they have been brought together by force. Yes. Our Father, we want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ mm. that you will bring something out of this. Mm. We pray in the name of Jesus mm. that you will will bring this marriage back. Mm.